What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to round off where we left off last time, we do have, uh, well, we captured Cleves and we also have a significant amount of armies in the European theatre from which to engage the Prussians. So now they will... This is going to be quite a big decider, who wins this battle. I suspect it will be the Austrians, because the Austrians are still... Are they peace? So they're allied with... They are allied with Russia, so this Russian army will be supporting them, unfortunately. So I think this will become a section of the Greater, Aust Greater Austrian Empire. And I don't know what that means for the, these Austrian stacks. I think I pretty much have to engage them. But they will, will be out of replenishment. I want this army at Innsbruck to move north to secure um, Munich, but require a bit of replenishment. And they are also doing some building, so I may as well let them finish that off for me. And then they're also trying to upgrade the army of Venice, from which to push east and take Vienna. And I wouldn't be surprised if it was this capture of Vienna that would cause the overall declaration of war from the Austrians. And if the Austrians did declare on me, I would be very tempted to take one of these armies and sail it around through the Balkans into the Black Sea and hit Bucharest, because that would be quite a major position from which to start engaging my war from the east. And um, we still have this army here waiting, replenishing on the border, ready to hit Oldenburg. You, my captured merchantman, just go plonk yourself on a trade zone. Speed you up. We are recruiting... Ah, oh, riflemen. And that will be another army of raid rock and roll. I don't know where I'm quite where I'm going to deploy you. Um, let's make sure that you guys have got... Let's get a howitzer unit. Let's get you can get you can get two units of the rifles. There's no limit. <gasps> there is a limit. Six. Okay. You guys can get two Swiss Jaeger to help cover the city because they there's a real opportunity and a real risk that the Swedes um, declare, and there's no point doing anything with Christiana. George de Dreiberg is moving in from the north. Ready to push in, but I want to see how this falls out. Fundamentally, I don't quite know what's going to happen, and I would like... So the Austrians aren't assaulting, but on their turn the Württembergs will probably sally out. I may require more... <clears throat> Oh yeah, and I also have my army up near Hanover that's also heading... Oh yeah, punt. Ah, retreat. Ooh, I'm not going to be able to engage you, but I'm going to want to. Because you're probably going to try to get up to some no goodness. Yep, Austrians are raiding me around up near Hanover, which is fine. I'm probably going to want to to to. to ooh. So they want me to declare on Württemberg, and they're going to offer to join the war against Prussia. No, because I will probably get a massive diplomatic penalty, and I know I might not necessarily care about the penalties so much, but I am still on good terms with lots of the Ind Italian Kingdom. Okay, Get into Berlin. You knock out this tiny little raiding unit. And get into the supply post. Because this will also be pretty handy. Well, pretty critical and useful for us to replenish from. Okay. Well, they are still... Oh, okay. This turn they're done. Sea trade route is under attack. So what have you got? I don't know, but I would wager George Elphinstone and his mighty navy will be more than enough for the challenge. Dietfried Frommen. You're mine now. Chop. 80 gunship of the line. How many guns do my regular ships have? 
98 yeah yeah it's third rate I think so I'll take it let's get him back into port uh, not all the way sadly let's not bother upgrading them just yet <clears throat> instead let's work on Kessel let's give you drill school Cleaves, drill school also military buildings which I might not necessarily want but I can deal with Okay, can you leave Paris now? Even better, can we tax you? Yes, we can. Perfect. Okay, we've also got... So let's get my navy from La Havre to sail over the channel. Pick up this army from London over under Bob Ross. Ah, oh, one more turn. Curses. Gentlemen, let's get you into Oxford. So great this to a small arms factory. Yeah, oh yeah. George Thomas from Brerisford. You can see, do I even send Brerisford to do go do that? To go around the Black Sea to take Budapest. Bucharest, sorry. I mean it might open me up a bit to the Russians, but we're, we're allied, so if they attack us, then it's on them. And where's all my artillery? It's on the march. It's going to take you lots of turns to get there. Interchangeable parts been recruited. I've fixed the gentlemen. I've fixed the raids. Fixed the raid into trade post. Hmm. So England's almost done. The army, the army of England's almost done. Yeah, the 98 gun second rates are done. Fix the gunsmith because that I'm pretty sure the gunsmith helps with that's oh, recruitment cost. Thought it was replenishment. But yeah, one more turn and you'll be ready. Strike north and hit Munich, and then I'll pro actually I'll probably want a few battalions to move up to Garrison Innsbruck just in case one of these guys tries their tries their luck. Come around the flank. I know what I could do with actually. So how many gentlemen, how many spies have we got converging on Berlin? Let's give you a go. Nope, you've been spotted, so Okay, I just did him again. Okay, you come down to Vienna instead. Now let's have a look at Brandenburg. War weariness. They are not happy. They are at war. Ordnance board. Bring the humble universe stat. I'd be war wary if I was you. There's an army just over the hill. And you know what? I think I'm going to have you. Because I can take Berlin. They're blocked moving through Saxony. They're blocked from Saxony from moving northwards. Yeah, they've no, they're trading with Saxony, but that's it. But they can't move troops quickly north between these areas without going all the way around the back. So I think you might be enough, actually. Or, to be honest, do I bring, just in case, bring Michael Stowell up. Let's move him up to Magdeburg. Because the plan would be to want to hit Berlin with one in support, see who shows up, and if no one shows up, one them so we'll send one to go take Stettin. And then let's move this army up to this bridge. So I'm very much penning them in here. I'm not getting very offensive because I want to see what, how this all plays out. Because that is another Prussian army. Hmm. What I may wish to do is take this Lisbon army. Take Edward Backingham. Let's get you a howitzer unit. Maybe even two howitzer units. I might move them aggressively up to the border within Lisbon, just in case they try anything. I can then move up quite aggressively and destroy them in battle. Oh, good. Are these lots of. Oh, these are all George Elphinstone getting lots of good Admiral stuff. To be honest, I'd want you to actually move up a bit more, if possible, into like here. Bit more. 
just to get a bit of visibility on what sort of garrisons in Vienna. Because I expect, if I expect, well, Austria is currently indifferent to me, so when they declare war on me, not if, um, I will move in and take Stuttgart, and then I'll have solidified my front line, and with any luck, the Austrians and the Russians and everyone will be punted back towards uh, their territory. So I can choose to ambush, but I'm not gonna. They've just walked right past me. Oh yeah, so they're, oh, they're falling back. Yeah, I would too, chaps. It's not your territory anymore and you've got problems. you got real problems. Well, it's going to be inevitable that I will have to engage them on the battlefield, but I'm more than welcome to do so. More than willing to do so. Oh, they're, they're, they're attacking me. The, is that the Berlin garrison? Joseph G is moving out to hit Michael Stowell. So let's defend our raiding force. This it's quite a nice opportunity actually to denature their garrison. And then we can send in we can send in our follow-up force to go and capture it. Or at least Lacey, that was the chair, absolutely not me. Um, uh, to send in an, a force to go in and capture it. Okay, so they've got an area they can, they can try and advance through a bit of a defilade. But I'm going to probably want to put a set of guns here facing them. Let's pick a number of my infantry units. And this isn't great from a firepower perspective, but what I'm intending to do is if I can do this a howitzer battery here to drop some Nazis over this hill as they advance up. And let's put a unit of light infantry on the flank and I'm probably going to put a unit of dragoons in the trees to hide. So you group up with them. So then on, so on this flank, well, that does start to leave a lot of my artillery a bit out of the way. So I deployed it. Oh, no, that's not too bad of a position. I might put my howitzers here. That's not even my howitzers. I don't have any howitzers. It's all a lie. Because here's not a terrible position. So then the order of the day comes to secure this flank, which should be okay, because they've not got many troops over here. And I might move these line infantry just as reserves, because I don't quite know where they're going to go. Keep this cavalry in the trees here. Michael Stowell, take your position here. Good. A flanking force of cavalry can be a serious threat. I bet it can. So they're all six, 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 six. They're all six pounders, two. Ooh, lancers. Prussian lancers. Too bad you can't deploy stakes, chaps. I deploy my light infantry out. Deploy my in them deploy my infantry behind them in squares. So if they feel intent, if they feel enticed in my light foot, my light foot, give them a couple of volleys, then fall back. Don't know why I'm making you run. You can walk. Let's go to my left flank. Actually, get a bit, a bit more. Let's just at least, at least pivot them a bit, so they're facing a bit more, a bit more in the right direction. A lot of cavalry, light horse, uh, Prussian Jäger Sophia. I think it's Sophia. It's a fort. One of those. No, you know you need to run, otherwise you're not going to be in. Oh, he's not going to be in position. Oh no. Let's see, so these guys form squares provide some support to these guys to fall back into. So 
So they're starting to engage my line. Dev uh, accurate gunnery. Although they've not killed anyone. All those guys are all going to get back out because they love it. Because look how experienced they are. Accuracy 48. So these guys, sh these guys shoot better than my light infantry do. And just absorbing all the fire that comes their way. I'm not sure how aggressive I'm going to want to be. So these are musketeers, fusiliers, musketeers, Swiss grenadiers, Russian fusiliers, musketeers, foot foot guards, eh? Okay, so you, my left hand batteries, you focus on softening up that foot guard unit if he's within range. Just. He's the one to worry about. Everyone else, I don't think I, I think I've yet to take a casualty from all of that artillery that's gone off. Still fine. Look at all of those shell holes. They've been shelling the crap out of these guys, and they have not. They don't. They don't care. Something's not right here. Like, so how many shots is that? Can you see it? Well, maybe more from that angle. Okay, this is this is really strange. Because our artillery's not doing the job either. Oh no, now it is. Three Prussians. Three foot guards gone. Okay, because they've got cavalry coming up on this rank instead, I'm going to bring my light infantry to bear. Get my light infantry to bear. Get my light infantry on the flank. I, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm pretty sure this must be a, a, must be bugged or something because there's no way they should be fine. No way. Well, if I was them, I'd sack their gunners. Still no cash. Yeah, this is something. Something's definitely off. move my cavalry out and around no shift click I meant I don't want to interfere with the gunnery so I'm still just scanning and no The first volley of musketry is about to open up onto these Prussian musketeers. That's a lot of dead Prussians. Okay, they have a charge. These fusiliers have just taken absolute hammering and they've had enough. It's going to get even worse when you get close to you, my friends. It's our brave boys, they're just going to open up. This is light infantry as well. Poor souls. They're charging a battle line. Yeah, of course they're going to break. That's what's going to happen. They're just in range, so they are trying to push my... It's the cavalry I want to worry about. Sure is my, my puny guns, I can't really hit them.
Is there lances? Okay, the cavalry's charging. You smash into that unit of musketeers, because otherwise they're going to pour a load of stuff into you. God, you fire at will, you fire at will. Pour fire into these Prussians before they get into point blank range. Oh god, that was devastating. I know, he's upset. Let's get him a bit out of a bit of safety. Okay, you go and engage this combat here. Bit of an inefficient rally, but I'll take it still. Charge the lances, and this isn't going to be, this isn't going to be kind to me. So we should have a, we should be doing better in the melee now. They do high char charge damage, but we should be doing more with these guys. It does leave our cannons slightly exposed, I agree. But mm, this I get more stuff done. Okay, now you need to engage that unit of musketeers because they've now come back. Absolutely not what you want. Because I want to use my artillery to come out to chase after. Not my artillery to chase after the guns, my cavalry to chase after the guns. Good. Mass Prussian retreat. Oh no, poor light infantry. And my stuff is... Oh no. Okay, they're running... Okay, go straight at them. No, they shouldn't because they're not very good, but I may as well try and mob them. Good, now you go after that team of guns, you go after that team of guns. Just go after all the guns. You guys bang and charge them. You guys come up here and bang and charge the foot artillery. All of you push up. Yeah, they are winning decisively and they're taking a lot, doing lots of casualties, but we can afford to lose men here. Yeah, maybe you go after the guns. I did see that cavalry unit coming back. Which ones? Yeah, that's fair enough. I'll be traded. Okay, let's get you out of there. Go chase down that unit of musketeers. You guys all line up. Fire onto that musketeer unit. Get my cavalry out of here. Going to hit that Flip Jäger Sofia. 80 horses. 
And these men are being aggressively fired upon, even from artillery at very close range. Here we are. Skirmish cavalry at the least. I feel that's the enemy general. The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest them. Never. Let's move these guys up into a, to a better firing position. Come on, Michael. Chase down these musketeers for me. There's a good chip. I mean, you may as well chase down that gun crew. You may as well guard mode off. Chase down that gun crew. You smash into the Feldjager Sofia. You guys just come straight in against that musketeer unit. Glorious victory, sir. He's a fighting general. Absolutely obliterating the experience, the experienced men of this Prussian army. So you're down to 64 men, let's go after you, you're down to 130. Ooh, foot guards, go for them. And you'll hack down the musketeers on the route en route. Probably not gonna Oh no, you are still absolutely continue. Now you're not gonna get the guard infantry, so keep going after them. So are you the right one? No, you're the right one. Chase down that foot artillery team. I know you're very, very grumpy because you're very tired. But you're also British Dutch cavalry, so you should love slaughtering helpless troops. That's what cavalry does, isn't it? That's what ours were very good at anyway. How do they escape over there? Nope. Sorry, Vader, not interested. Okay, you instead go after. Oh, you go after them too. Where's Mon General? Chasing after these shattered Prussians. So he's finished, so he's just going to go beeline it straight for them, although. Oh, well, you might, yeah, you, you might get them. Yeah, let's all go for them instead. Even though that could be the same unit. No, it is different. But they're closer. The other chaps are going to successfully rout. Take that, Prussia. Your troops, your populations in Berlin are war weary. You must sue for peace, and you must sue for peace soon. But I don't want to sue for peace. I've got my campaign objectives. And I want to secure Central Europe. So I can't accept peace, Prussia. The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest away. You're fine. The last Prussian's about to die now. Got him. Perfect. <coughs> Region to resupply. And we also have... Uh, John Moore waiting in reserve. Yeah, two to one exchange ratio. Not good, but not... Oh, what's the, the Chernobyl term? Not great, not terrible. Then referred to as, that's not, not great but not horrifying by Bruchanov. 
Anyway, we've got a army in reserve to go lay siege to Brandenburg, and we're not going to siege. Here comes oh, here comes the oh no, they're not coming our way. They're going into Central Europe. So this is an interesting opportunity for our forces in Europe to actually, well, our forces in Venice to sneak around the rear. Maybe Innsbruck might become more of a holding action. I don't know what you're doing. Good. Get back to your stupid little territory. So maybe a bit of a holding action in Innsbruck. Rather than Rather than direct attacks, because they may they may come after us. Yes, you were spotted, but you're going to make your way into Vienna, because that will provide me better intelligence than my uh, cavalry. Wurttemberg is destroyed. Nope. Strains are trying to steal my tech. Let's upgrade you to a supply warehouse, because that could be useful. You're replenishing. You're still. Eh, you're nearly. You're near as damn it done. I think I might punch through. And you're. Yeah, you're not in a good position to resupply. Can I do merge? No, that opens up objectives. I'll do this to put you under pressure. I could go for you actually. No, nope. I'll put you in. I'll put you under siege for one turn, and then hopefully, if they leave me alone, I can get John Moore in. I'd rather fight it with this army, um, but I also wanted to put them under pressure. Tactical call retreat from Wellesley because we are at peace with the Austrians. So it means I need to bring Wellesley round. Oh, that's a long way. I'll bring John Moore round to here. This army under Cleves, Cleve, Cleves, Cleves. I mean, you're a bit unhappy. Still, you do not like that I've came in here and conquered your territory. Yeah, not by a damn chalk. Okay, let's do that for now. We can bring him down to secure this northern approach. Because at least when I'm in a striking position to be able to hit Stuttgart. Let's upgrade these two. Wellesley's pretty much out of it, so I'm probably going to want to bring him up around here. Get you to Garrison Strasbourg to get them something at least. Let's upgrade you to a musket manufactory. My artillery's on the march to Venice still. Brerisford was going to come over here, I was going to try and attack them in the rear. Then my army with the first detachment of the rifles is going to make land in Europe. Well, actually... Let's do something a bit more daring with you. Oh, it's because I'm not used to... Oh, that was dumb, wasn't it? Let's group you together to at least give them some protection, but there shouldn't be any navies that can get within range. Um, I was thinking about sailing these guys around and hitting probably Stettin to help support my uh, attack in northwest, northeast, northwest Europe or northern Europe um, or central Europe, I suppose. I could send them to the east, but I don't want to open myself up to the Prussian to the Russians just yet. Actually, I suppose that's what that's what Beresford's going to do. Um, maybe Brasford's going to wait for when Austria declares on me I can sail around and hit. Or do I just bring him up to reinforce Venice? Do I just do that? Do, do I abandon that altogether and send him here? And this army that's recruiting in Venice can become a second force so Brasford can push to north to Vienna and this guy can wait and get ready to hit Zagreb and start to push down into uh, the Balkans. It's an option. It's an option. But at least we're under siege in Serbia, and they've got lots of junk troops. So they're probably going to bring a reserve army into into the mix. Let's upgrade the equestrian state. Yeah, but that might actually be the better option. So I've got six pounder, six pounder. So do I out? I out artillery the heck out of you, and I've got my Scots Greys. 
So actually, makes no difference. I was going to assault your city anyway. But yes, look at the timer. I believe it's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the battle, the open grounds of the Austrians. And then we will... Hey, man, wait a minute. His face looks similar. I've seen you before. You're in Venice. Um, yes, so we're going to... Thank you for watching, guys. Hope to see you in the next part where we'll engage the, the, the Dutch on the open field and then we will move in and capture the last territory. All right, thanks, guys.